Very happy to give this presentation, Improved Security Evaluation of SPN Block Ciphers and its Applications in the Single Key Attack on Skinly. I'm Wen Ying Zhang from Shandong Normal University. This is the joint work with Weichun Cao, Jian Guo, and Anne Pasvik. Along with the development of Internet of Things, some new symmetric key cryptographic schemes have been proposed. The security evaluation of these schemes against some well-understood cryptanalytic techniques is an important task. There are about eight distinguishers for block cipher. In this paper, we just focus on the first five distinguishers. This work is motivated by the work of Sun Bing and Skinny Crypt Analysis Competition. Sun Bing proposed matrix based approach which extracts and deals with a binary information, marrying whether words appears or not. More sophisticated distinguishers taking into account the exact number of occurrences cannot be deduced from the matrix-based approach, but can be derived using our method. For example, for skinny, by using our method, one can identify that the 8-bit of the 8 byte of the X7 is balanced when the 12th and the 13th word of plain text travels over F22B. On the other hand, the matrix based approach will wrongly identify it as an unbalanced one. The aim of skinny competition is to motivate extensive public scrutiny of the cipher. The goal is to recover the secret key from a given encryption of a known book with 2 to 20 randomly selected plain text and ciphertext pairs. So it is given plain text attacks. So far, the maximum number of attack rounds are 12 and 10 runs correspondingly. One of our contributions is that we introduce a rather simple but novel approach for checking the resistance of a cipher against some distinguishers. The core idea of our approach is a useful representation of the round function as a multivariate polynomial of plain text words. The main approach based on counting the occurrences in a multivariate model gives a simple and intuitive description of SPN block ciphers. Our method improves the work of Sun Bing in crypto 2016 because the counting process in our case takes the number of occurrences into account and not only whether a certain word appears at the output or not. Skinny is a family of lightweight block ciphers <coughs> proposed at crypto 2016 it adopts the SPN structure just like AS. That is, S box, add constants and add round key, shift row and mix column. This figure illustrates the structure of skinny block cipher. We represent they represent the words of the first round by the plain text words in Formula 1. By iterating this representation, we get the expression of the eighth word of round 7. The expression can divide into two parts. 
In the first pass, P12 appears once and P13 appears five times. In the second part, P12 appears twice, but P13 appears once. Our integral distinguisher is based on the following theorem. Let S1 and S2 be permutations. Then the sum of this formula over this set is zero. Let's divide the sum into two parts. In the first part, we take sum over x first and then for y. In the second part, we take the sum in another order that is y first and then x. The inner sum are all zeros, which proves the theorem. This figure illustrates the process of building an integral distinguisher. Let's start from state 2. We encrypt it. Q is achieves full diffusion and we decrypt it till there is at least one word is independent of it. Hence, we get an RDEC minus 1 plus RENC round integral distinguisher. Here is a 10 round integral distinguisher for skinny. We use the 7 round integral distinguisher and add 3 rounds on the top, top of it. Similarly, we can build impossible differential distinguisher. Here is a four round impossible distinguisher for AES. For skinny, we found 16, 11 rounds impossible differential characteristic. Now we turn to zero sum differential. Assume the expression of one word of round R is of the form. There are two sub-functions. Pi is independent of F1 and Pj is independent of F2. Then the cipher has an R round zero sum distinguisher. For skinny, after five encryption runs, P14 doesn't occur in the seventh word of X5 and P13 doesn't occur in the tenth word of X5. Furthermore, we have this formula. So, the, uh, this, uh, the sum of this word over four plain texts formed as P13 and P14 formed as uh, this and the other words be constant. It's zero. We can also use occurrences of the linear combiner. <coughs> At the first equation, to the second one, we can get the third word and uh, the third word and the fifth word of x six. Uh, <coughs> the sum of the third word and the fifth word of x six equals two s of x five twelve plus k twelve plus k fifteen. That is. This sum is depend on x5, 12. And since p15 doesn't occur in, in the expression in x5, 12, so it is independent of the 
linear component combination of the two words. This is a strong truncated differential, requiring a single plain text self text pair for distinguishing Skinny from other block ciphers. We can also extend the distinguishing one more round in the backward direction. Suppose that we vary x1 15 while keeping the other words fixed. From equation 1, we have x17 equals to sp3 plus k3 and x115 equals to sp3 plus k3 plus sp9. And we need x17 be fixed, so p3 is constant and p9 is active. Except that x115, there are two words, x13 and x111, depends on p9. So we have to add two constraints. To sum up, we have the following theorem. Suppose that the two different plain texts are selected so, uh, so that pi equals to pi prime, except for the 6th, the 9th, and the 12th word. And additionally, we have the two constraints. Then the difference of the third word and the fifth word is equal. The last part of this talk is the practical attack on Skinny. Recall that for our seven-round integral distinguisher on Skinny given as before, when P12 and P3 go through F228 while keeping the other words of plain text fixed, the word with coordinate 8 sum to 0 after seven encryption rounds. We apply the four rounds at the bottom of its integral distribution and achieve 11 round attack on Skinny. We represent the eighth words of X7 by the cipher text. In this expression, they are 6 bytes k. So the time complexity is 2 to 48. We can also attack 12 round and 13 round skinny by adding 1 to 3 round on the top of the 7 round integral distinguisher. We can get serial total attack on 14 round, 15 round, and 16 round skinny. The open problem is, of course, the practical attack on more runs skinny. Thank you very much for listening.